two pipes are used in this design, the smaller diameter one inside the other. This constitutes what is known as a double pipe heat exchanger. The flow rate and required temperature drop of the process stream will be fixed for a given chemical plant. The final step will be to calculate the length of the double pipe heat exchanger. This will ensure that, when you are busy mastering the last step, you did not forget the first steps. Many processes use cooling water in a typical plant, so you cannot really change the temperature of the cooling water fed into your double pipe heat exchanger. However, there is flexibility in how far you can allow the temperature to rise by the time the cooling water leaves your heat exchanger. This is a side view of the double pipe heat exchanger. The small diameter pipe is in the middle. The small diameter pipe contains the process water that is being cooled. The reason for having the hot process water in the middle is to avoid the exposure of a dangerously hot surface to the external surroundings. This may represent a danger to touch and could also make the environment too hot for your comfort if you need to work on the plant. The small red arrows indicate that the heat transfer takes place through the inner pipe wall, i.e. through a cylindrical solid. Capital T1 is the entering temperature of the process water and this is fixed due to the preceding processes. Capital T2 is the exiting temperature of the process water, and this is fixed due to the requirements of the following processes. Small T1 is the entering temperature of the cooling water, and this is fixed by the operation of the cooling tower. Small T2 is the exiting temperature of the cooling water, which needs to be determined by you. The higher small T2, the more the heat absorbed by the cooling water from the process water, and the lower the flow rate of the cooling water. This in turn will reduce pumping cost. However, the heat transfer area will need to increase to allow this, leading to an increase in heat exchanger cost. A difference of 5K between capital T2 and small T2 is usually considered to reduce pumping costs without increasing heat exchanger capital cost too much. Note that the flow of the process water is from right to left, and the cooling water from left to right, which is why it is called counter current flow. At the end of the project, you will investigate the effect of having the flow co-current, i.e. both streams flowing in the same direction. The cross-sectional representation of the double pipe heat exchanger is given below. Here you can more clearly see that the cooling water occupies the space, or annulus, between the small and large diameter pipes. <laughs>